Once upon a time there was a man who was a farmer. One day he came to see Buddha. Like all of us, he also had some problems in his life. And he thought that Buddha might be able to help him to solve these problems. He said to Buddha, "O oh Lord, I have some major problems and I know that only you can help me." He said, "I am a farmer. I like farming. But sometimes it doesn't rain enough and my crops fail." and sometimes it rains too much so my yields are not what i would like to them to be buddha patiently listened to the man the man continued saying i am married to my wife is good i love her too but sometimes she nags me too much and sometimes i get tired of her buddha listened quietly i have a son sometimes he does not show me enough respect and sometimes he doesn't obey me he told buddha that he was mad at his wife because she supported her son over him the man said do something so that their mind can change and they realize how much i am doing for them farmer said i am also tired of my neighbors who just keeps doing gossips about me and keep spreading rumors about me he told buddha that many people owed him money and he was having hard time recovering it from them after explaining a long list of his problems he finally wound down and started waiting for buddha to say the words that would put everything right for him instead buddha said my dear friend i can't help you i can't solve your problems what do you mean said the man he was astonished he became furious i thought you were a great teacher he shouted i thought you could help me what good is your teaching then if you can't help me buddha said patiently you see my friend everybody has got problems in their life in fact we all have got 83 problems each one of us and there is nothing you can do about it if you work really hard on one of them maybe you can fix it but if you fix one another one will pop up if you will solve another some other problem will arise You can fix some problems which are in your control but there are some problems which are not in your control like death disease people's gossips rain etc you can't solve all of your problems but yes if you can solve your 84th problem then the first 83 will resolve themselves on its own 84th is the key please solve my 84th problem then the man said First we have to identify your 84th problem Buddha said What is my 84th problem the man asked eagerly Buddha said Your 84th problem is you don't want to have any problems and that is the root cause of your misery you don't want to have these 83 problems in your life which is not possible problems are always going to be a part of our life you cannot escape from it If you can leave this desire of not having 83 problem in your life then you will have no problems in your life just leave that expectation and accept life as it comes that is the only way after listening to these words from gautama buddha the man understood that life is never going to be the way we want it to be as it therefore one must try to face challenges of life comes and try to live a life full of happiness and contentment If you see in our life we will find that we all have these 83 problems in our life and we will always have things will not have work the way we want it to be sometimes people refuse to operate according to our wish people are often thoughtless and unkind things will happen mistakes are made and so problems appears when we refuse to accept that they are part of our life and start blaming others for our troubles we become like that farmer in the story frustrated and dissatisfied and then rather than having 83 problems we will end up with 84 we must accept life as it comes and if it is beyond your control then we just need to stop thinking about it and that is the only way to live a trouble free life with full of happiness 
So the next time you are stressed over the difficulties of life, remind yourself of the 84th problem and try to solve it rather than solving the 83 problems. If you like this video, please hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. For more videos, keep watching Informatic Couple. I thank you so much for watching this video. This is me Prashant signing off.